everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura and you are joining me for my week 62 update on OMAD, one meal a day slash intermittent fasting lifestyle. And this is my week that I've been on vacation for spring break. Today was my first day back to school. And let me tell you, I did not get any rest over spring break. It was super, super busy. No surprise, right? <laughs> so last time y'all joined me, I was actually in Virginia Beach and it was cold and nasty. And all we did basically was a lot of eating. We did go to the movies and just hang out, had a good time, but it was just nasty weather. And guess who brought the nasty weather back with her to Texas? So for the last few days, at least four, everything that we had in Virginia Beach has been here with us and I have not been a happy camper. <laughs> I hate this weather. I can't wait for summer. I am ready for May, June, July, and August. Yes, I said it. I want August. <laughs> so, last week was pretty much a bust, honestly, with the weather being bad. Had a good vacation off. Any time off from work is great, but just wasn't my kind of, my cup of tea, my kind of weather. So, I flew home late Tuesday night. Um, when I checked in with you guys Monday, I told y'all I wasn't going to stress out. I was just enjoying vacation. I did. I decided when I got home on Wednesday, I was going to get back at it. But a friend of mine, I talked to her and she is actually going to Germany to visit her mom for three months. So we went Wednesday, first day back to Texas, and um, we had happy hour and hung out and visited. And literally, I think we spent five and a half hours there just enjoying each other's company talking and catching up we hadn't been together in a while so tuesday i mean sorry wednesday was pretty much a no-go that did not have omad did not happen but thursday and friday i got back on omad was doing pretty good feeling good about it um i actually saw 181 on the scale so i was like hey i'm losing weight great we're gonna keep going with this and then the weekend came <sighs> why do we always blow it over the weekend I am the world's worst with this. I can do well all week, even though last week I didn't do too well, first part of the week, but I can do pretty well through the week, most weeks, and then the weekend comes and it's just burn and crash. So what happened on the weekend? This weekend, St. Patrick's Day weekend, I always do a race series here in Seabrook, it's close by, it's not too far from me, called Seabrook Lucky Trails. It is three days of racing. They start off Friday night with a 5K. And then Saturday, you have tons of options on what you want to race. You can do a full marathon, a half marathon. You can have a marathon relay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's the races on Saturday. And then Sunday, you can do a half marathon, a quarter marathon, or a 5K. Well, all years in the past, I have always run what they call the Pelican Challenge. 5K on Friday, half on Saturday, half on Sunday. By the end of the weekend, I'm worthless, honestly. It drains you, it's a lot. My body's aching, you know. So this year I thought, well, I'll just do the 5K on Friday. Me and some other ladies decided to do the marathon relay, which ends up being about six and a half miles a piece. And then Sunday, I'll just do the 5K again. I'll take it pretty easy this year. I did do those things. It was three races in 38 hours, basically is what it boiled down to. <sighs> Sleep wasn't that great, number one. The weather, oh my gosh, guys. I'm not even gonna even try to sugarcoat this weather. I don't know what is going on with our weather patterns. The winds were 20 something miles an hour. It was 46, 47 degrees every morning when we started out. Like I said, the winds are so strong. There's times I'm, um, I mean, tears are running down my face from the wind blowing in them. Then on Saturday morning, I did the first leg of the relay. Never in my life have I had this happen to me. <laughs> I've been in races where it's held before, but I was off the course when the hell came. But, you know, by the time it happened, I was done with my part of the race. So I never, never have I ran a race when it held on you. But this race, I got held on. <laughs> It wasn't big. It was just more like sleety, but I mean, it, it was, it was actual forms of ice. You know, it was forms of ice. It was all over my jacket. I got held on. And then as I'm coming in at the end of my leg, 47 degrees, why would you have the neighborhood sprinklers going off? 
the sprinkler system was going everywhere, getting all the runners wet. I was like, only me. This would only happen to me. And it did only happen to me. By the time I got back and passed the baton, everybody else's <laughs> legs were great. A little muddy, but no more rain. Yes, it was cold and windy, but no sprinklers and no hail. <laughs> My typical luck. So that was Saturday. We finished the relay. Oh my gosh. I think it was around two o'clock and we decided to go to Mod's Pizza. I did get a salad there trying to be a little better than what I had been because the race foods, oh my Lord, this race series knows how to do the foods. They had uh, pinto beans and rice. They had pulled pork sandwiches, hot dogs, hamburgers, um, Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. Yeah, you know, I had some of those too. Uh, let's see. Of course, they had green beer because it's St. Patrick's Day. You gotta have green beer at races. I don't drink beer, but it was a great pitcher op. Did have a few sips of it for a few pitcher ops. I cannot stand the taste of beer. It's all about the pitcher's guy. Oh, and the blings. All about the bling. Let me tell you about the bling, though. Oh, my word. So, this is Friday's 5K medal. All right. 3.1 miles on Friday. This is the medal you get. Cute. I was like, all right, no biggie. Saturday, we get our relay medal. This is Saturday's relay medal. Got the little pelican on it because Seabrook is known for pelicans and they have these pelican statues all over the place. I'm sure you've seen, if you follow me, some of my videos, Candace and I went and found all the pelicans around Seabrook one time. So their medals always have pelicans on them. That was for the relay. Sunday, when I did the 5K again, guess what the medal was? Yeah, the same one they gave out on Friday night. So I got two of the same medals. <laughs> I was like, oh gosh, really? Y'all know it's about the bling for me. So I was not really excited about that, but it made me go next year. <laughs> If I don't do the Pelican Challenge and we decide to do the relay again, I will not do a 5K on Sunday. I will do the quarter marathon, which is a different race, a different medal, so I can get three different medals. I don't want to have the same medal over and over. That doesn't, don't jive with me. But anyhow, um, every single race every day, like I said, was cold and windy, rainy. If it wasn't rainy, it was just really cold and windy. But that's what I did over the weekend. Ate all that bad food. Because, yes, I did. The running makes me hungry. I, I ran. You go in there. You're smelling that food. I ate. And I had, um, instead of the beer, I drank a Sprite. They had ice cream. I'm not eating ice cream in 47 degree weather. Ain't happening. Um, but I did eat the cookies and all the other stuff. And then, like I said, Saturday we went to Mod's Pizza. Yesterday, I just could not stop eating. I don't know what was wrong with me. I just wanted to eat all day. So I did not do OMAD over the weekend. Did not do well. I totally lost it over the weekend and just gave up, really. It was just like running, having fun. It was cold. I didn't feel good. I've still got this whatever it is going on in my head. I, when I flew home, my ears, you know, when you get off the plane, sometimes you're in a bucket and you can't hear. I'm still like that. I can hardly hear out of my left ear. And my right one is just now starting to get better. And it's been days, you know. So I'm probably going to have to break down and go to the doctor and see what's going on with me. And I am just like a typical man. I hate going to the doctor. I'll do any and everything but go to the dentist and the doctor. And I need to go to both. So that was my week. Last week when I weighed in with you guys, I was one, I think 185.2. And then this morning on the scale, I was 183.6. So I lost 1.6, but like I said, I had done so much better a little bit earlier in the week. I had actually seen 181 on Friday morning. I was like, oh, good. Yeah, well, not so good after I finished the weekend with all that eating and whatever. But today's a new day. My plan for the week this week is I'm going to just try to keep my momentum going. I'm going to try to do fasting a couple days this week, like a full day of fasting, try to get myself back on track. Um, probably will do it today. I've already drank some coffee and I got my water out. Guys, I was so dehydrated over the weekend. Even though it's cold, wet, rainy, I was sweating like crazy because you're all bundled up to try to stay warm and you're sweating. Saturday into Sunday morning, 
I actually got cramps in my toes and in my foot. I have not done that and I can't tell you how long. I am so severely dehydrated. So I have brought out the water. We are fixing to get after it and get busy. I think I'm gonna try to fast all day today and get myself back on track and get to moving forward again because yeah, I don't wanna see 185 or higher. You know, it's time to get this weight going down. Uh, let's see, anything else before I let you guys go? Oh yeah. This morning, first day back to work, I was dreading it. I'm not even gonna lie because right before spring break, that week before spring break, the kids were like wild. Oh Lord, I had two fights on the bus. It was a nightmare of a week. So everybody was dreading on coming back to school and coming back to work today. <laughs> but first day back, they all did great. I didn't have any issues. I know I just set myself up for failure this afternoon. But when I pulled up to the elementary, one of the teachers and a little kid brought out this. I have no idea what's in it. It was a gift bag. I was like, what's this for? And she was like, we just wanted to say we appreciate you. So I was like, well, let's, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's see what I got. So I decided I'll just open it up with you guys. Watch it be food and I'm trying to fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I don't need. I will use the pen, but um, this, no. <laughs> not happening not happening <laughs> number one I don't even like Snickers so that's good and I'm not a big fan of Skittles either so it was a sweet gesture I appreciate every bit of it because we don't we really don't get appreciated enough nobody does at their job I don't care if you're a teacher a bus driver work for the police department nobody really gets appreciated enough your mailman don't get appreciated enough trust me I've done that for 15 years it's hard work <laughs> So, I did appreciate this, but I will not eat this. <laughs> that is too funny. All right, guys. I'm going to let y'all go. I will see y'all next Monday with a check-in and see how I'm doing. See how you guys are doing. I hope everybody is doing great. I'm going to try to get back to as low carb as I can this week. I'm going to try to do carnivore, maybe ketovore. So, I'm going to try to do as low carb as I can this week and fast a few days and get myself detoxed and moving because I'm telling you, last week's vacation and this Ruha over the weekend, oh, I am all sugared up again. I got to get the sugar out of my system. All right, guys, have a great one. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.